Many public figures express their opinions uh, at times about the public in general. Um, my opinion always varied, um, but now more and more uh, it is being it is getting solidified, and I will tell you more about this. But let's hear about some so-called comedians' uh, ideas about public. Uh, usually they are quite negative because we can know, we can feel that this, something is very wrong with this society. Um, things are, the, the, the hypocrisy, the negativity, the uh, contradictions um, are so uh, enormous that it bothers anyone who is sincere. Okay, so let's listen to George Carlin first, then we will listen to Bill Hicks, so it will take about, uh, I believe, a little more than one minute. And Bill Hicks will shout quite loudly, so be prepared uh, to, uh, to it. Maybe something else sucks around here, like the public. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. Once again, the useless waste of fucking flesh that has ruined everything good in this goddamn world. That's where we're at. Hitler had the right idea. He was just an underachiever. Kill them all, eat off all of them. Jew, Mexican, American, white, kill them all. Start over, the experiment didn't work. Rain 40 days, please fucking rain and wash these turds off my fucking life. Wash these human waste of flesh and bones off this planet. I pray to you, God, to kill these fucking people! Freebird. So, you just saw uh, great people getting confused, getting angry. Uh, by the way, Bill Hicks also said that um, he believes that most of the people are reasonable, uh, but <clears throat> you can see how confusing it can be that if most of the people are reasonable, why they are not acting, why they are not doing anything? If they act, what are they doing? Um, in what ways they are acting that it is so inefficient? And I, am, uh, I was interested and just um, opened the poll, this, uh, like, five hours ago uh, and the question was do we live in an ethical society that defends the voiceless and stands against oppression so two people said no most people exploit as long as they can get away with it and this is also my opinion this can change, it depends, but um, sometimes I am with the, this one and then the second one. I tend to take this, this second stance actually, which is no, but people are addicts and they can change for the better. Because um, <clears throat> I was non-vegan, uh, but I have changed and improved. so. Uh, it is possible to change and I, I believe, I like to believe that most people deep down uh, if they can get rid of their traumas uh, which is addiction is I think another name, should be another name for trauma because traumas cause addictions and addictions cause most tra more traumas and they are to me they are the same thing they are the same thing so 
um, if people can get rid of their traumas, meaning we need to have some psychotherapy for people to get rid of their addictions and traumas, then we can heal uh, society. But how can we manage doing that? Uh, first of all, we need to realize the root cause of the traumas, which I will come back uh, uh, very soon, within some minutes. And then, <clears throat> when we figure out a few people, few our people, we figure out what is the root cause of these traumas, then we have to figure out uh, how to make other people realize this. And then work on it and change if, if it is possible but so realization is the easiest step here anyway let's go to the second uh, the third one so another option was no but people care about others if they know the truth so some uh, animal rights activists think this way that they say if we inform enough people they are deep down caring and good people and when they know the truth, when they know what happens to animals, um, then they will definitely change um, in a reasonable amount of time. And I like to think this way, but now more and more I'm becoming, some people can say pessimistic, but I think this is realistic for me. The addiction issue here the trauma and addiction issue so you can see that although this is just three volts so it is not statistically significant but uh, the other options I don't think many people will agree with them that you, that you can say yes they are protesting all the time against oppression uh, I think they are protesting against their own oppression but not for defending others. You see the difference that um, they are protesting for selfish reasons most of the time. And the other last option was, of course, past is past. Now most people are angels. So all the bad things, the slavery, blah, blah, they were in the past. Now people are good and we have, a, we have an ethical society today because we are we have so much technology you see so much information and uh you know all my all this schooling the school system it takes you since you are five six years old and lets you go at least when you're 18 so uh 17 or 18 so they must teach something there right so um with all this power um they must produce some ethical people, good people. But guess what? If, you, if we look at this, um, we all can agree that at least uh, we can't, we can't um, even the most optimistic people, um, I don't think that they will say that, you know, most people are very good uh, people like, like angel, angels. And it just goes to show that there is something very wrong with this, that most people can't say that society is good. <coughs> um, this was another poll, so let's go through them as well. Spot the odd one out, so to come back to the root cause. Um, so you can see here the cows. Uh, enslaved in the dairy industry, um, humans enslaved in offices, uh, an elephant enslaved, I think two elephants, elephants enslaved, maybe three elephants, enslaved in zoo, and elephants uh, walking freely in nature. And you can see that all the other three had technology involved. That's why it is operation. It is exploitation. And option four, it is freedom because there is no technology involved. You can see that where there is technology, 
there is expo exploitation. And this is always, always the case, without any exceptions. And I asked people, this is nine words, what is your opinion about technology? And some said, it is all fine and dandy, the best thing that has ever happened. So 11% of people said like this. So imagine one in 10 people thinks that everything is fine, all going good, no problems. <laughs> like, um, very nice. Okay, so we can say this is like 11%, not much. Next, it has downsides, but overall it's a positive development. So if we sum these numbers up, about 55% of people, again, nine votes is not much, so statistically not very significant, but we can have an idea. Um, also, they're following my channel and this might uh, create some bias, but let, let's go with it. So about, let's say 50% of people, despite me explaining on my channel why technology is uh, bad, why it creates more problems than it solves, etc., why it is not sustainable. Oh, I have explained all these things to, to great lengths, you know, in, in detail. And despite that, still 55% of people here thinks that technology is overall positive. And another 33% says it has good and bad sides, so it is neutral. Only 11% of people said it's a distur disturbance to natural balance and it be hence it brings no good. Just 11%. I mean, it is... Um, I don't know what to say about this, really. Um, you see, like we say, so let, let's... Uh, try to uh, put everything together that people think think that society sucks or all I, most people will agree with the, with the, with this statement I think um, people also think that uh, I mean, this is seven votes this picture so people also think that um, uh, usually here technology creates some ensla enslavement so they are aware of this to some some degree but remember that people can uh, can hold uh, contrasting opinions in their heads and then despite that they think technology is good and technology will is improving humanity and improve things. Um, I don't know what else to say to make people realize that technology is a disturbance to natural balance and hence it brings no good. And you can see that technology is the basis for enslavement and ex exploitation. Um, the technology is actually the basis why the society sucks because of the disconnections of communities. Uh, um, okay, let me let me show you a video here. Maybe something else sucks around here. Let's continue with. Uh, so okay let's listen to Bill Hicks again a little bit more and then go let's go to a teenage speaking about technology you know I'm real tired of this back slapping humanity fucking movement going oh humans aren't we neat come on we're keen <laughs> folks we're a virus with fucking shoes man <laughs> That's all we are. Day in and day out. Okay, so this, this girl. We are using our cell phones and our laptops or using a calculator on a test to check our answers. We are being 
so reliant on our technology and we are becoming addicted to it. I'm here to propose the motion we state that science and technology has brought more harm than good. There is some. Okay, so we can see how technology is dissolving the, the connections of people and how it uh, creates a society uh, of isolation. People can say, we have phones, we can talk with each other. But again, we used to talk face to face, we used to touch, we used to uh, spend time all together, all the time. Right? We used to share common values because we didn't know about anything else. We used to share common cultures. That's when uh, the disagreements were at the minimum, at, at the minimum level. Now we are in chaos because there's a disruption to our societies and people growing up in, in such kind of society, um, they, they are based on fear. They are, they are based on the idea of competition and fear. Think about your childhood. Uh, that you have been told that you have to, you must have high grades because uh, you might, you know that you were competing in a way with other students um, to be able to uh, have the job uh, a better job than others, uh, which is paid slavery. So just competing to be a better slave in a way, and. This is ingrained in your brain since you're since you're a kid. You knew that um, if you didn't have money, this society would let you down and let you starve on the streets. So you knew this deep down. You still know it, but as a kid, still you were aware that um, <clears throat> this society doesn't care about you. If you don't have money, uh, it, it will let you die on the streets without food. Um, you, in, in this, so as a kid, you can see all these disconnections, all these chaos, and you can internalize this. And uh, you get traumatized by this. And you grow up uh, in such a traumatized mindset of uh, the eyes of fear, as Bill Hicks said, uh, and look around and traumatize people, the addicts, they uh, keep perpetuating the trauma. That's why society sucks. And all these are, were enabled by technological civilization. It started with technology. Um, you can write down in, in the comments. Uh, if you agree with it or not, you can say, no, technology is improving things. Uh, some people told me like 300, 400 years ago, things were so bad, now we are improving. Actually, no, we are not. We are not improving at all. Um, or some people tell me uh, technology um, let us uh, learn more truths, learn about science, and we can search all these things. Um, and learn more well guess what without technology we didn't need to search these because people lived uh, ha happy and healthy without uh, thinking too much just living naturally uh, by doing what they were doing uh, as nature intended and today because all this chaos all this confusion exists that's why we need such uh, we need to waste our times by finding again what is true or not because uh, the technological civilization made us forget forget it forget it you know people some people think that they are lions that's the degree that they forgot who they are they forget that they were eating mostly plant-based uh, they forget that um, you know how, how to be a community they forget uh, where to find food, what you know, all 
or uh, how to live healthy they have they uh, forget that they need to have enough sunshine you know, all these things that uh, we used to do it automatically naturally that technology made us for forget about it and then we have to spend years and years and debate and argue what is right what is wrong let's you know figure these things out and still we, we can't figure it out i mean uh, make make the make the majority understand it um, because um, again the technology doesn't stop disturbing it keeps uh, and indeed the, the te technological disturbance is actually growing exponentially so all these ongoing uh, and ever-growing disturbances is preventing us from establishing uh, a stable uh, stable healthy balance and we are full of addicts um, addicts to technology enabling more and more exploitation um, and when you can ask when this balance will be reached and we know this from my documentary um, the connections 2021 short documentary i'm repeating this because i think this is the most one of the most important videos crucial videos on the internet ever produced um, because it explains the roots of all our problems uh, and in there you can very simply understand why technology and nature can't uh, live in harmony so don't expect any balance anytime soon you can say that uh, well now people are not that violent uh, uh, you know like um, they used to fight more now uh, they are not fighting that much uh, well the lack of war doesn't mean peace it might also mean oppression so you have superpowers and monopolies and you have slaves under under living under them and just because they can't uh, fight back it doesn't that it doesn't mean that there is no war going on right there are hidden wars and i think these hidden wars are growing and growing and uh, people are not realizing this in in uh, kind of developed rich countries because uh, they are the ones who they are also exploited but they also exploit and they are traumatized they're addicts so they don't see any other option but um Overall, uh, this is the case, I think. The silent wars uh, is growing. And that's why they need to more and more uh, put, try to put people asleep by uh, mass media, by TV shows, by uh, drugs, all kinds of things that uh, to keep people uh, within their silent wars, within, uh, you know, keep them unhealthy, uh, give them uh, animal products and pro processed foods, make them sick so they can't um, have, the he have the health to fight back or think properly, think straight, or, uh, you know, uh, be healthy just by themselves independently. The system wants you to be dependent on it and every move it makes is uh, uh, for that and it uh, enhances the, the dependency of these addicts or these traumatized people uh, so um, i wished i saw more um, consistency here that you know people think that technology is something good but society sucks well if society sucks 
technology which enables more exploitation how can that be something good if if people think society sucks and technology is something that enables more uh, power gives more power to a society that sucks how can this be something good i like have some have some consistency right i mean think about these things um, because i think they're um, important to realize um, so i'm just preparing this video uh, actually because um, a few family members um, you know how vegans are with their families most most of the time uh, they disappoint you and i was thinking that like um, okay I, I thought that these people are good people but look at how they behave i mean their mouths are saying something else but their actions are saying the opposite thing and um, just made me prepare this question i mean what do you think about society maybe i could ask uh, what do you think about your family or uh, but uh, as, as, as society i think most people are aware that things are not good people just care about themselves and they're very close to one their uh, close uh, friends or relatives because uh, these they these people are about them you know it is still caring about oneself because let's say if uh, someone uh, is uh, uh, homosexual and they care about homo they they might say that or they care about homosexual uh, homosexual people rights um, but they care about it because they are the victim but they don't go and defend other or like uh, ask for equality or well-being in other topics and this is the issue that even people who, who say that they are good people and they want equality etc actually what they are asking is um, equality for themselves uh, at least this is uh, my conclusion so far about people so i will tick the maybe this one let me can I take this one? No. Okay. Ah, very surprising. I can't vote my own um, question. So I would say no, but people are addicts and they can change for the better. But how to do this, how to change them for the better, how to um, it, you know, heal them when technological civilization every day each passing day 24 7 uh, keeps traumatizing keeps disturbing disrupting um, and preventing a return to the natural balance a healthy um, balance that is um, the big question i think the only way is to collapse the technological civilization so uh, george carlin and bill hicks uh, would uh, sleep um, happily in their graves. Uh, of course, they're, <clears throat> um, as Bill Hicks said, um, he is not in the grave. He is everywhere. He is um, where there is happiness and truth and laughter. Um, these spirits are there um, and you are immortal basically in this aspect if you share uh, such uh, if, if you have such realizations you will realize that you are actually um, everything you are we are one and you start taking your ego less seriously and then uh, all these problems your addictions uh, uh, gets reduced your fears your traumas tra uh, start to resolve and uh, 
that's why some people recommend taking psychedelic mushrooms or something that they, it just dissolves your ego i never done done them i'm not planning uh, having any kind of that, that kind of stuff because i don't i think i don't i don't think i need anything like that and i think uh, i already found the the way you know and but but some people that they are so deeply traumatized they might need it uh, to open their eyes and uh, maybe that that might be uh, part of getting rid of the, the addiction because i know that sometimes some uh, natural drugs are used to treat uh, other drug addictions such as to get rid of alcohol they might um, suggest some other natural drugs uh, to uh, you know resolve your stress and tension etc okay um so this is becoming too long and let's end this video here i hope this was um thought provoking and please let me know your comments in the uh, comment section like subscribe share the connections 2021 short documentary and tell everyone about these ideas make them realize make them wake up um because this uh, we are not going somewhere good with our current situation with humanity with this uh, egoistic um, mindset fear fear-based uh, selfish mindset uh, 